What's going on guys, DT Fang back again with another episode of Farm Sim 22 on the new improved creator server. We're basically going to be taking our new position over here at the brand new and improved public works facility. And so I'm going to go and we're going to arrive and kind of get our feet wet there. Give you a little bit of an introduction of what the place looks like, where everything is, how it's going to operate. And then we're also going to give you a tour of some of the finer points of the map. Uh, this is Spring Valley map. It is a, I want to say it's a 32X map. So it is a huge map. There's going to be a lot of people on it. So that's going to be the benefit as we won't really be running, you know, running over each other trying to get around. All right, this is our turn right here. We can tell because it's got that stone thing and the, uh, and the little construction sign there. So this is our main road here. Now over here, we'll come back and look at this a little bit more in depth, but this is one of the two way stations. There's one way station on each major highway, which there's two major highways. So while I'm thinking about it, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Uh, and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new intro. Um, I had uh, Jake, the former pickle, and I worked together on that and I like it. I really do like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. So here we go. We are pulling up on it now, and this is designed 100% by me. I think it turned out really well. Go ahead and turn in here. Zoom out a little bit so we can see a little better. And welcome to the new public works facility. All right, go ahead and hop out. We've already got our vest on, so we're good and safe. Go ahead and walk out through here. Let's go ahead and shut this gate. There we go. Nice and secure. Okay, so welcome to the new Public Works facility, guys. It's similar to the old one, but a little bit more detailed. Got a few more little bells and whistles, so uh, let's start off. Of course, we've got our gates that close, which are really cool. Got a nice little, uh, little area where we've got some flowers, just to kind of liven things up a little bit. We've got, uh, you know, some trees out here with uh, some bushes. We've got the street lights, of course. Uh, over here, kind of the same deal. So we've got a got a shed here that we you know store like little stuff in. Um, we've got a bag lifter here. We've got some of our other miscellaneous equipment. Uh, this is our landscaping trailer, of course, that we go with our push mowers. Um, we also have to buy a couple of the zero turn mowers, which I have not done yet. So we may do that on the the next episode here. I'm not exactly sure, but. Um, so we've got to get a couple of those. Uh, over here, we've got some more of our equipment, a uh, rollback dumpster. Uh, we've got some of our road signs here. Uh, this is our fleet trucks here. This is, uh, of course, the, the big Mac Daddy truck. This is the one that I drive most of the time. And then there's the other trucks here that the other guys will be driving. Uh, I'll occasionally be in here, just depending on if it's something simple like the uh, the safety trailers that I'm pulling or whatnot so and then we've got a couple of uh, storage things over here a container and a container this actually works this is like the one we had inside our building I did it outside this time just so we wouldn't run into any issues with the height of the building uh, and these actually do just fine outside I have seen them outside before but back around here we've got our fuel so this is our regular fuel which is our diesel and I believe over here we've got our def in here, of course, we've got our standard setup. We've got our Kubota UTV. We've got three mowers, three tractors, Kubota tractors, uh, three snow blowers. Kind of the same as the other one. We've got a front loader. I don't have the all the connections to it, but we do have a front loader here, Kubota. And obviously, I went with Kubota because they're bright orange, and you know we're trying to keep safe, so that's what most of our vehicles are, are going to be bright orange. Uh, over here, we've got our pressure washer. And then we've got, we've actually got four plow trucks. Uh, this is three of them. Uh, we've got a dump truck for hauling salt uh, from the store uh, to bring it back over here. And what we're doing with this one is we are actually, where is that other truck, by the way? Or do I only have three? Maybe I do only have three trucks. I do only have three trucks. I've got three trackers. So uh, over here, we've got our road salt. So we've already stocked up on our road salt. And what we do is we hop in the little Kubota uh, front or uh, skid steer here. Uh, we pull one of the 
plow trucks right up here beside this ramp and we load the salt on using this ramp into the back of the truck uh, over here we've got our gooseneck trailer and that is about it for our public works facility we've got a little bit a little bit of area back here i'm thinking about maybe doing a little bit of landscaping uh over here and trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do like maybe a picnic area or something i don't know we'll, we'll figure that out later i'm not worried about that well, that is this area. So what I want to do here is let's go ahead and hop back in my truck. And I'll take you around and show you some of the other features that are really, really cool on this map. Here's the way station. Uh, that's where all the employees park right there. Uh, you got your scales up here. Where the trucks will come through, get weighed as long as they're good. And the scales do actually work. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, right there, you've got your enforcement vehicles. So if you're over the limit or whatever, and you try to, you know, you don't stop and get things corrected, they can chase you down and stop you. And back in here is where the trucks will pull and rest. So they can have a little rest area here. Let me hop out here. So and over here, we've got our little uh, restrooms and you know vending machines and stuff like that inside this building here. Uh, we've also got a little picnic area, so you get out of your truck and, you know relax a little bit just to get out of the truck and get some sunshine so for those truckers who travel with a pet over here we've got a little dog walking um area so we've got a little path back in here plenty of grass plenty of room uh, it is lit up for nighttime as well it's got lights on the path and as we walk around here it should we might see the dog we've got a dog in here as well i don't see him right off but he's around here somewhere Oh, there he is. He's out in the parking lot. He's way over there. I don't know if you can see him. But anyway, yeah, this is our little uh, picnic area with our for our pets and things for truckers that have uh, pets. Let me make sure he's got plenty of food. Oh, no, he didn't. Let's go ahead and feed him again. So here's the dog. He's He pretty much hangs out all the time. So that way you can kind of know. Oh, he's stuttering a little bit. That's all right. But that's where he hangs out most of the time. So there's one of these at each of the truck stops. So we do have a dog walking path at each of the truck weighing slash truck stop places guys coming up here to the right is our farmer's market and a couple other little buildings over here on our left is the turn that we're going to be taking to start getting into town one thing you could do as a whitelisted server member if you wanted to is you could uh, develop a subdivision um, and we've got placeable houses that don't actually have sleep triggers so uh, you know, you could do that. Uh, that you could do construction. You could do, um, you know, all different kinds of things. You could be an Uber driver. Once we get, we're working on getting the passenger script on all the vehicles that we're going to have in the in the server. And here is our police station. So I'm going to pull over. I'm not going to pull all the way in. I'll just pull over here and kind of hop out and give you guys a quick look. So police station here. We've got all of our police cars, of course. Um, and that's another thing that you can do on the server is be a cop. Uh, we go in here. Oh, I can't open the door because I don't own it. But anyway, this is actually, you can look in here and see, you know, there's an office. Back here, there's actual jail cells in here, which is really cool. Um, so people can actually, you know, RP out that they're putting people in jail and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Uh, right here, this is CJ's baby. So let's get out and look at this park, this beautiful park that he created. I'm really impressed with this park. This is really beautiful. So you come in there, you got a nice little garden over here. You got your um, little picnic areas with a fire pit here and some free firewood. Uh, you got your two volleyball courts over there. Uh, that's kind of all there is up that way. But uh, nice little nature park here around this other side here. We've got, um, this is really cool. We've got a little uh, basketball court, which is really neat. We can come here and play basketball. Uh, round over here. Got a nice little dolphin statue. Uh, not sure why there's a boat in the middle of the park, but uh, hey, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, over here, we've got a nice little playground for the kitties, which is super cool. And a slide and a little sandbox, another little... Uh, the little cookout area here. I mean, this is just Im impressive. I really do like this part. So, and then of course, Dolphin Rock. 
what we're calling that. So let's come on back out to the truck and I'll show you the rest. So I'm going to be kind of more or less in charge of the impound lot as far as on the creator server. Jump over the fence. So we've got our three rollback trailers. Uh, and guys, for you, those of you playing on the whitelisted servers, it's very important to have a tow hook on these and keep it just, uh, I typically just strap it on there so it doesn't get lost. We got our maintenance area here. Over here, we got our uh, our big boys, the big uh, rotators. So we've got two different versions of the rotator here. We've got one Peterbilt and one Kimworth. Uh, over here, we've got where we, uh, uh, all these cars have been uh, impounded and or towed. Got a few there waiting to be paid. Uh, over here is parking, so you would come in here and park here next to the office to pay off, uh, you know, or to show us the paperwork. And then you come in here, and this is where uh, the office is. Not much to it, but, I mean, it's it's an impound lot. There's not going to be a lot to it. There's our computer. So we come back out here and continue on with the tour. And also, guys, before I forget, uh, one thing that is worth mentioning on the server, uh, the whitelist of services, they will have invoices. So you will have the ability to invoice other players for different things. Uh, police can invoice for speeding tickets. Uh, tow services can invoice for towing and or impounds to get cars out of impound. Uh, it depends on where the money's going. Uh, it's just a really, really a cool idea that's never really been done with Farm Sim before. All right, guys, and coming up here on our right is the major trucking hub. This will be for all trailers uh, and, you know, normal normal trucks and trailers. And let's go ahead and pull around here. Uh, so here you will be weighed on entry. And you'll come in here. Got plenty of empty spaces over there for empty trailers. Uh, you got some overflow here. corner here let's see what we've got we've got uh yeah so that's all of your trailer parking uh over here you've got your your fuel aisle so you, right down through there you've got your def and your uh diesel um inside this basically is the same warehouse that we use from the other place which i can't get in right now but uh because of the way the farms are set up so we've got your little picnic area out here and uh you can even do a contract with uh you can contract them to cut the grass over here and take some of those push mowers that we have at the dot or not the dot department of public works and come over here and get some of this mowing done uh, you know keep their area nice and nice and clean you can go through here and maybe cut some of this ditch area over here kind of cool that is the truck area the shipping area for actual products and goods and then we're going to exit out here and go show you the one for equipment and uh, really heavy haul loads. We've got a heavy haul lot also. All right, and down here on our left, we've got our heavy haul facility. Which, this will be where the, you know, the low loader trailers, the big ones, they will haul all the other, you know, harvesters, cotton harvesters, the big stuff, the big heavy machinery and whatnot. So they've got their own facility, so... Uh, you'd be able to, you know, do whatever kind of trucking you wanted to do in this game. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure if you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed the map, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Um, special thanks to the guys, the Formal Pickle. Special thanks to CJ and myself for all the work that we put into this map and making it what it is for you guys to be able to play on. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy the whitelisted servers. Um, until next time, DT Fang, we'll see you on the next one. See ya!